Hey YouTubers, welcome back for another adventure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use an ordinary light bulb, this is 60 watts, and one of these cheap meters to determine if the stator is any good on this thing. This thing has all kinds of electrical problems and I'm trying to figure out what's good and what's bad. We've already determined that the pulse generator is good because we managed to get this thing to start, right? That's, um, that's a good place to, to be. Um, so the next thing we need to do is figure out if the stator is any good and from there we can build an electrical system that now charges the battery. Um, let's give this thing a start and I already have this plugged in so when I start it the light bulb should light up. This is one of those three phase starters in between each one of these wires I expect to see you know some voltage I don't know 40 50 60 somewhere around there um, by the way as you're doing this make sure um, you use your protective wear you know eyeglasses um, be aware um, you could at 50 volts that's plus and minus 25 volts so um, you could get a bit of a jolt, you know, don't stand up and bang your head or, you know, get yourself wounded or anything. I mean, just use some common sense and everything should go well for you. So there we are. Let me zoom in a little bit. Hopefully you'll be able to see the light bulb and some readings on the meter. Okay, so first thing we got to do is get this thing started up. So hopefully you, you'll be able to see that I, um, I have three phases and I had somewhere around 50 volts on each one of those phases. At one point you saw the light didn't light up and it was because I knocked the lead off the, um, off, off the light bulb. Um, so the good news on this thing is my pulse generator is alive, my stator is alive. Um, so now it's a matter of troubleshooting backwards. They do things a little differently on this bike than I'm used to. The Hondas all have um, the ignition part of the bike as well as the DC part of the bike including the charging system and all that they um, they they um, one side of it's at ground it appears as if they have the stator here the three-phase stator goes to the voltage regulator two leads come out of the voltage regulator go to the battery a positive lead or the negative lead goes to the engine so that's, that's not crazy, that's cool, that's expected. Um, but no part of the AC circuit for charging the battery is at ground. Only 
the DC, so they must be using a, a three-phase delta connection type alternator in here. What's also strange is none of the CDI system seems to be hooked to the case. Um, and that's, that's kind of a little bit weird. Um, I'm not quite sure why they did that. Um, anyway, so the video really ended when we saw that we had three phases and the light bulbs were all and the light bulb lit on each phase and we had voltage on each phase so if you're able to do that some of them are two phase this one's a three phase but some of them um you would like hit the center and then these two and typically um the uh, the center so to speak that that would be at a ground potential that's when you kind of have a two phase um, yeah this this uh, <laughs> this bike has a lot of things I'm not I'm not used to I'm gonna I I seem to be doing a lot of reading on this thing but once again I know my stator is good I know my pulse generator is good and from here I could build. I can I can build a um, an ignition system and a wiring system so that you know the switches work and everything else works. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching and commenting and subscribing. Please remember, feet down, heads up, and get out there and fix your all-terrain vehicle today. Bye now.